Today I want to talk about how you can get more out of your networking efforts. All right, I was having a conversation today with a friend of mine and we were talking about some of the challenges she was having with uh, actually networking and the fact that she just doesn't feel like doing it because she's not really getting much out of it. So we talked, how could we actually get more out of it? So we went through some things and the biggest thing is, is we started talking about what actually happens when we're out networking. Why do most people feel like they don't get anything out of it? And typically it's because we're just doing it wrong. And when you go out, what happens usually? What's the one question everybody always asks? Yeah, they say, what do you do? And so the natural tendency is for most people just to answer. So we, what do we do? We get our business card and I say, hi, I'm Joe and blah, blah, blah. And I vomit all of my business crap all over them. And what they're doing is remember that game, like double dutch, skip and rope. They're just waiting for their turn to jump in and vomit all of their business crap all over us. And so we end up going into these meetings where we feel like everybody's just fake. Everybody's just trying to promote whatever products they have. And it's honestly, it's a pain in the butt and it's not that fun and we don't feel like we get much out of it. Now if you've seen some of my other posts and some of my other uh, videos you'll know that I'm a big fan of talking about why. Talking about your passion and purpose. If you've seen um, a video Simon Sinek did uh, you know what uh, great leaders do to inspire action it talks about that golden circle of what, how, and why. And what I'm gonna challenge you is when you go out and network when people ask you what do you do is there a way that you can talk more about why you do what you do, what you believe in, what your passion, but what your purpose is without going a little bit too over the top. I've seen people take it too far where they say, you know, I'm here to, you know, be the flower of people's life and we weird stuff like that. I'm saying that, you know, when, what kind of results do you get for people? What gets you really excited? And can you explain it in a way that people go, wow, that's cool. And they move to the next part of the circle, which is how do you do that? And then eventually they just go, well, what is it that you do? And that's the challenge. The, the challenge I want to throw to you is how long can you go in your networking conversations where people are very engaged in, in the conversation with you without even knowing what it is you do? That takes a certain level of skill and it takes a lot of practice to talk about what you do in a way that isn't as straightforward as people are going to ask. One of the things that drives me crazy is when people introduce me as a coach or a consultant and they say, this is Joe, he does coaching. And people say, oh, what is it that you coach in? And then I get caught in this endless logic conversation and people, when you get into those logic conversations, people naturally select themselves into or out of doing business with you. So the, the more you can refrain from talking from a logical, rational place, the easier it's going to be for people to connect with you, for people to start to know how they want to work with you, and even better, who they would want to connect you with. So it's all about tapping into that limbic system, our reptilian brain of tapping into people's emotions. And I'll give you one easy test to know if you're doing it right. When you're in a conversation with somebody at the next networking event, and you're talking about your why. And I want you to, before we go in there, I want you to refrain from thinking of the 30 second pitch or the elevator pitch. All these things where we're trying to pitch what we have. It's no pitch. People are going to ask you what you do. I want you to start talking in terms of what you believe in, what gets you excited, the kinds of people you like working with. And to test it, here's the challenge. When you're talking to somebody, subconsciously, if you're resonating with them, they will start to move and they will start to respond to you in ways that they might not even know. They're going to go, hmm, or they might, their body language will shift. Something will be perceptible by you, but not necessarily by them. When you start to get more people moving and engaging with you on the subconscious level, that's when you know your language is working. A lot of people think that they have to be perfect in that elevator pitch. So they rehearse it till they're blue in the face. The only way you're going to get good is to practice it. So, Go out there and do some networking and talk to people about what gets you excited. Do it in a way that's not cheesy, that's not phony. Be genuine, authentic, and let people connect with you. And also, the better you are at explaining how you help a specific group of people, a segment, the faster people will start to clue in whether they're your customer or whether they can help you con connect with the right customers. 
So try that out, see what you do, learn from it, improve on it each time, uh, and just, just work on your networking game. And don't look at it as a tool to necessarily get clients. Look at it as a tool to connect with more people in a genuine, authentic way and build those relationships long term. But if you're not clear on who you are and what you represent, how the heck are you going to get other people excited about what you do? So I hope that helps. Go out and try it. Post your comments below. Let me know how I can help you out.